everybody. So uh, you're probably wondering where I am, what I'm doing, why I'm leaning on the, the front of a huge camper. And that is because I am on my next trip and we're here in New Zealand. So I arrived yesterday and oh, it was long. The flights were awful. Uh, New Jersey to California and then California to Fiji and then Fiji to Christchurch, New Zealand. So that was like a long 24 hours of driving or driving, flying. And uh, yeah, then I arrived, picked up my friend's van here and drove far south from Christchurch to Lake Takapu, Taka, Takapu, something like that. And uh, yeah, I camped here last night and today is the start of the New Zealand adventure. So uh, today we're going to Mount Cook and then after that we got awesome adventures in the Wanaka area, Queenstown, and then I'm driving all the way up both islands and dropping the van off for my friend in Auckland. So yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later today when we're doing our first hike or first uh, photo adventure of the day. Hey guys, so it's uh, later in the afternoon now. I left uh, the campground early this morning, had a nice drive, and now I'm here at my next campsite. I got this in the Mount Cook area for two nights. And uh, right now, I'm a little late. The schedule is like behind by a day or so, but right now I'm planning on going down to the Mount Cook area, which is further up uh, this way. Can't really see it because it's bright, but there's a bit of weather right now covering the mountains, so I can't really see the actual Mount Cook, but I do see all the little mountains around it. So I'm gonna drive towards Mount Cook and try to do the, uh, I believe it's called the Hooker Valley Trail. And that has a few uh, swinging bridges which are very nice for photos. Yeah, unfortunately, the, there's snow slash rain slash weather. I don't even know what it is, but if that's too bad, then I might be doing a different valley to the, uh, to the right side of Mount Cook, and uh, I'll update you guys then with whatever we're doing. But right now, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon, so I got seven hours until sunset, so I really want to find a good spot and just hope that the weather holds off and I can get some photos for sunset tonight because I haven't gotten any photos since I got here. So I flew the drone once and uh, I took a few photos on my phone, um, but that's about it. So I wanna try to get some epic photos. Hopefully the clouds clear and it gets a little sunnier and we get a nice sunset. But yeah, besides that, I might be driving uh, back the opposite direction from uh, Mount Cook, the way that I came, because on my drive here, I passed one of those awesome S-curves in the road with the beautiful Glacier Lake on the right and then the mountain range in the background. So if it clears up later today and I'm uh, done with my hiking before, I might be going back to get that S-curve photo and uh, show you guys that eventually. So yeah, let's head towards Mount Cook and the town and see what the weather like is there and I'll update you guys uh, before we go on one of our hikes for photos. So I'll talk to you then. So guys, we made it to our first spot and I uh, actually went to a different spot from the one that I mentioned. I mentioned Hooker Valley and I think we're going to do that either in a few hours or tomorrow because uh, the weather, like I mentioned, is uh, pretty harsh on both sides of uh, the mountain. So I went to the other side and uh, was hoping for some clearer weather, but it's still raining and still cloudy here. so. I don't even know if I'm going to get out and do this hike, but I'm at Tasman, Tasman Viewpoint. Um, you're, you're at a parking lot and then you have to hike up about 45 minutes to a little viewpoint and you see 
um, Tasman Glacier, which is the biggest glacier in New Zealand. And you see some icebergs in the glacier lake, something like that. But like I said, it's kind of raining right now and it's kind of gross out. So I don't even know if I'm going to get out and do this hike or not. I might drive to the Mount Cook Village and get some food or something like that. And hopefully, hopefully this weather clears because I only have about a day and a half left here in uh, the Mount Cook area and it's really photogenic. So hopefully I'm going to get some clear skies soon because I want to see this amazing mountain. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit and update you on what we're doing, but it's starting to rain a little bit more. So not looking good right now. So I decided to go on the hike. Uh, the weather has been coming in and out, so I figured I'm here once, might as well do it. And uh, it's the middle of the day, so I'm not really planning on taking that many photos, but we can scout and see if it's worth coming back to maybe tomorrow when the light is better and we have a little bit better weather. So I'll talk to you guys if we take any photos. And if not, hopefully I enjoy this, uh, this little hike. So I'll talk to you then. Okay, so we made it to the top with some pretty crazy views. Um, but like I said, it's four o'clock in the afternoon, so the lighting's not the best and there's still a lot of clouds. So probably not gonna take any photos, but definitely worth it. Definitely a cool thing to see. Uh, we got the glacier back that way and then this is the entire glacier valley behind me. So yeah, there's also some boat trips going out here. Uh, probably people visiting the, uh, the edge of the glacier. But like I said, no photos, so I'm probably just gonna hike back down, go over to the Mount Cook Village, and then probably attempt the, uh, the Hooker Valley Trail if uh, the weather permits. So I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so uh, I don't know if you can hear it right now, but it is downpouring. It was uh, started about four o'clock right after I finished that hike. I drove to the Mount Cook Village. It was raining even harder there. And in the day that I've been here, I still haven't seen the top of Mount Cook. So yeah, I didn't really do anything the rest of the day. I went to a, uh, a cafe and used their uh, Wi-Fi, which I had to pay for. Every place that I've gone has had weird Wi-Fi things so far. The cafe that I went to, I had to pay $5 for 24 hours of Wi-Fi. And then yesterday I could have had Wi-Fi if I paid for it at the campground that I was at. It was a very high tech campground. But yeah, there hasn't been any service for my phone whatsoever. I have it set up where I just pay $10 a day and I get international uh, data, like however much I want. Um, but my phone hasn't connected to service since I left Christchurch about two days ago. So I've been trying to find Wi-Fi, but you have to pay for it everywhere, which is kind of annoying. But, you know, that's the life of uh, traveling. So it's now uh, eight o'clock and I'm here in the camper van, if you couldn't tell. And I'm just gonna have some dinner, get some sleep, because I think 
I don't know about the Mount Cook area specifically, but where I am camping about 20 minutes away from the actual mountain, it's supposed to clear up around 2, 3 a.m. So hopefully it all passes and Mount Cook pops out because at 2 or 3, I'm gonna get up and attempt to get star photos. And then hopefully it'll stay clear for sunrise. And I'm looking to get a um, the S curve that I mentioned earlier in this video, the S curve in the highway with Mount Cook in the background for sunrise. So fingers crossed for that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And that's gonna be the the end of the first New Zealand video. I guess there's uh, not really any photos to show. I got a few on the road and just a few random places. So if you haven't seen those, I'll pop those photos up right now. But if, uh, if that's it, then I'll talk to you guys, hopefully in about seven hours for uh, star photos. But if not, then I'll talk to you for sunrise tomorrow in the next video. So I'll talk to you guys then. See ya.